Hi guys. The purpose of this video is to help you with this uh, lab that we're going to be doing. Okay, so you should have all received a copy of this radish seed germination lab. It's also online for you. And I need you to read all this stuff. Okay, I know uh, the tendency might be to skim stuff, but please read through this so you know what's going on. Uh, please read the introduction. And you all know with scientific method, the first thing we have to do is identify what we don't know. And that's what this is. It's called stating the problem. So we're going to investigate how does acid concentration affect the germination or growth of radish seedling. There should be an S on there. Um, the acid we're going to be using is in this beaker. Okay. And what it is, it's, it's vinegar diluted down to different concentrations. I have the 1% here as my example. Okay. So one of the groups has that. Uh, and you also have several other things in this bin. Uh, let me show you those right now. Okay. These are radish seeds that have been soaked in this acid concentration. So the 1% seeds have been soaked in 1% acid and they're radish seeds. Radish seeds because they germinate so quickly. Seeds look dead. Germinate means they break that dormancy because they're not really dead and they start to grow. That's what germination means. So we're going to investigate the germination of radish seeds. Radish seeds germinate very quickly. That's why we're using radishes instead of sunflowers or something like that. Okay, so I do need you to read the directions on this step by step. But let me give you some pointers of things that might be confusing, um, you know, without being to, without uh, being able to ask me right in the classroom. So the first thing you're going to do is you have the stack of pots. You just need one of these. Okay, and you're going to leave the rest there for my other classes. You're going to go over by the windows and put some uh, soil into your pot, read the directions so you know how much to do. And you're going to plant a few of these seeds in there. Okay. I'll put some tweezers out so you can grab them. Uh, nothing hazardous here. This is vinegar diluted down to a 1% vinegar. Okay. So obviously don't eat anything. Don't taste anything. You can't do that in a lab, but that's what that is. Once you have your seeds in there, set those off to the side. The next thing you'll notice that you have is a stack of these Petri dishes. They are thin, shallow dishes with a lid. And we're going to do a second experiment here, uh, which is actually part A in your procedure. What you're going to do is take uh, some paper towel, cut it into a circle that fits inside of this bottom. This is the bottom. The top goes over top of it, just like that. And that's what I've done here. Okay, a little trial and error. I have a, a, a paper towel that's a few layers thick. And then you're going to put your seeds on there. And honestly, you can kind of like do a few layers of paper towel. And I can't grip it. Uh, put your seeds kind of like in the middle, like they have like a little blanket on top. And then water them with some of your percent acid. So no one's using water out of the tap. You're using this acid I provided to you. Okay. Now this paper towel, you don't want it soaked. You don't want it to look wet. So if you have to pour a little bit off, that's okay. Uh, you want it damp. Okay. If it's wet, they're going to rot. So damp is what you want. Put your lid back on. Now you have a Sharpie. On this, right along the edges or in the middle, I want you to put everybody's initials and I want you to put what mod you're in. Okay, that way we know this one's yours. It might be smart if you put the percentage of acid on there too. Okay, so if I do uh, Mr. R, I don't know, uh, mod four, and then I put everybody else's and I'm in the 1% acid group. You know, if I did something like that, that's not going to get mixed up with any other class. Okay. With your pot. I got ahead of myself just a little bit. That's why you're watching this first. It's easier to write on your pot before you water it. Okay. Because once it's wet, it's not going to stick. So again, I could put Mr. R, 1% acid, put everybody else's initials, put what mod I'm in, and then use your liquid to water that. It's going to flow out of the bottom. Okay. So maybe you hold it over your bin as you do that. And once you're all done, put your Petri dish on top. And I will have some long plastic bins uh, over by the windows there. And you can put your class all together. Okay, so there'll be a 0%, a 1% all the way up through um, as you get that done. Okay, and then check classroom for other things that you need to be working on once you finish that up. Okay, so please feel free to rewatch this. And that's how you do that lab.